sounds are from our Polytones memory card Garden Essence available on polytones.shop And if you want all of these sounds without buying that shit Go join the contest on my Discord And if you want more details go check that shit So first we have the drums And all of that together sounds like this Now let's break down the melody Polish Girl made a fucking great job making these sounds because basically I yeah, see his pack. First, we have this one. Without the effect, sounds like this. And I'm gonna break this chain down because uh, basically it's kind of the same chain he's using for most of the sounds here. Basically, it's an OTT. Then you have some chorus. Then we have this has. Then we have some form and filter. Some OTT. A transient shaper because we want more transient, obviously. Some reverb. And finally, some key to get rid of the lows and mids. And we have this one. With all the effects, sounds like this. And more of the same shit. Some OTT, some chorus, some has, some form and filter, some reverb, more OTT, and an EQ. Then we have this one. This one. And finally, this one. Um, you may see here is a percussion and basically he put this to emphasize the melody with the sub bass and well the sub bass without the effect sounds like this because basically it's a 3x oscillator with a sine wave and some noise simple shit on the post processing we have some maximus so make you take a bit of some highs and boost in some of the lows a sound good icer this M saturator, some soft clipping, and this G clip. Then we have this sample, that basically is this one. This is a great example of how to use samples. So I wanted to show you how basically we're using the sample pack to make this tune. Then we have this layer, that's basically this, but also filter it. That's basically the same post processing on the sub bass, but with this filter. And these three together sounds like this. As you can see, most of this shit is moved one mini bar on this whole stuff because apart from giving the flow to the track, the transients from the melody and all of that shit doesn't interfere with the drums transient. So that's why we're doing that. We have now the chords right here. We have first this one. That's crazy because this is just a sample. If you use this one, it's gonna carry a lot of your future rhythm stuff. It's basically this one. Without post processing, sounds like this. Basically, some shaper box, some OTT, some reverb, and finally, some EQ makes it sound like that. Nothing crazy. Then we have this beautiful stuff going on here. If we get rid of the effects, sounds like this. Just a plug. But the thing here is, we have this reverb with the dry all the way down and the wet all the way up, making this. And with this shaper box, with the filter mode, we are doing this. That's beautiful. They have some kit to get rid of the mids and low mids, and obviously the lows. Then we have this one. Without the effect, sounds like this. The same as the last one OTT, reverb, EQ. And finally, we have this EQ that has this automation clip right here. Finally, we have this one that is a chord following the pattern of the melody. Basically, this sample. And it's basically the same chain as the plugs of the melody. All of that together sounds really cool, like this. Okay, let's talk about the glitch. Basically, all of this is routed to a sidechain track. Basically, all the drop elements apart from the drums. Then we have this glitch too, that if you don't use it, you gotta use it. Because most of the underground scene is using this shit. I saw Bao use this. And a lot of people here use that shit. If you put the trigger on this first square, it's gonna sound like this. We don't want the trigger apart from this section. We want it from here. So with that... That's better, because if we do it even one mini square before See, just play around with this stuff, it's cool Now let's go for my part, that is fucking cool also I'm basically using the same synths, uh, I'm only adding this one 
basically i made that one on the bow video i made and the leo tricks one but on the second part of the drop we have also this one So I want to explain some shit because I know I feel a lot of people didn't get it because I'm using AM from B. Basically AM from B is amplitude modulation and what it does is using the oscillator B as a LFO let's say depending on the octave of the wave. In this case we have a soul wave and if it's slower the wave moves slower because if you put a soul wave really low like here you hear that's gonna be the amplitude modulation you're putting on your oscillator a so basically i'm doing that here playing with the am from b and then we have some distortion down sample and some chorus some compression and without cross processing sounds like this On the post processing, I have a free chorus, fucking underrated. Then we have some OTT and some EQ to get rid of the lows and some of the highs. <laughs> then I have this chord I made on Serum. I'm gonna break it down really quick because basic stuff. We have first this one. So this one has seven voices on oscillator A. On oscillator B, we have one voice and it's one octave up. Then here we have some curves, some compression, and uh, our saw wave. On the post processing, we have some OTT and some EQ, and that's basically it. Then we have the second one, that is this. It's only one voice on each oscillator, and it's like really greedy because I want those mids really add to the sound. Basically, uh, we have oscillator A, oscillator B with one voice is each one. Oscillator B is one octave down, and we have here some distortion also and some compression. And then post processing, we have just an OTT, some EQ, and basically a G clipper, just so we don't clip. So yeah, that's it, people. You need Discord for the contest. Follow Polytons. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, sub, and that's it, people. Love you all. Peace.